Welcome to how to order and download data with geospatial data. In this video, I will show you how to define the area of interest you'd like to order, how to order your chosen area of interest, and how to download your order. Let's begin on the map page by opening one of our saved projects. If you're not sure how to create and save a project, please watch the getting started video found on the resources page. To remind you where the projects are stored, we can find them in the hamburger menu in the projects tab. I'm going to select my previously saved Exmoor National Park project. The service takes me to the project, including the two datasets I layered onto the map. The flood datasets, which shows me the areas vulnerable to flooding, and the baseline aerial photography made up of satellite images. To define the area of interest we want to be able to order, we need to use the order area tools. These can be found in the hamburger menu. Select the map tools tab. Select order area tools. You can now see all the tools you can use to define the area you wish to order. I'm going to use the rectangle order area option to draw a large shape. I would like to order the area that seems to have a high potential of flooding where there is less greenery. Click once to place the corner of the shape and then click again to place the opposite corner of the rectangle. Now that we've defined our area of interest, let's see how we order it. First click anywhere on the shape and a dialog box will appear. Select the basket icon. You are then asked which layers of data you want to include in your order. Sometimes an error will occur for a layer. This means the area you've chosen is either too large or too small for the data to be ordered. This means you need to adjust the area of interest you have defined. Cancel the box and let's change the area. You can draw a new area with the order area tools or you can adjust the shape you have. Click and drag the points of the shape to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to use a different tool to make my area smaller, so I will delete this shape and create a new one. This time I'm going to use the predefined area tool to give me a shape with exact dimensions. I'm going to select the 100km squared option, a square this size appears on the map. To move the shape to cover the area you need, simply click once on the shape. Click again to move the shape. Now, let's see if the defined area is within the limit. There are no errors, so I can click the top arrow to select both layers to order. Select Add to Basket. Your order isn't instantly submitted for ordering, so you can add more order areas and file formats to your basket and submit them all together. A notification will appear on the basket icon indicating you need to confirm your order. Select the icon and check the order. Before you submit your order, make sure the pre-selected format is the one you want the data to be delivered in. If you're happy with your order, click Submit. A box will appear for you to agree to the license agreements for the dataset. Click the links to view and read the license agreements. Select the boxes to agree to adhere to the license agreements. Click on the Place Order button to proceed. Your order has now been placed. Once your order has been placed, the data is cut to your order area and converted to your selected file format for your chosen data set. This is why there may be a short delay in receiving your order to download. Orders with more complex geometries and data may take longer to process. Now that we've ordered our area, it should be ready to download shortly. Let's see how we download our order. Select the account icon, click on my orders. The service will show you all the orders placed on your account. Select the order you want to download. There will be a file for each of the layers you ordered. 
Select one and click on the download button to open and save the file on your machine. Some files may not be ready to download. The files that are ready to download show this download symbol. Check back later when the file is ready. For more tutorials on how to use geospatial data, go to the resources page on the website.